Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and if you're new here, thanks for swinging on by. Um, I just want to preface this video purely with a, a current video beforehand because obviously if you read the title, I am a month or so late and I really apologise for that. I've been super busy the last four to six weeks um, with research, data collection at uni and just a whole bunch of other stuff happening in my life. Um, so I haven't had time to edit this video but I thought... Um, that I should still put it out because that way the bands can get some more recognition and exposure. You guys and fans can find out about different albums. You know, if this video doesn't ever go up, you might not ever discover a couple of albums that you really otherwise would have loved and, you know, can really light up your day or your year. So that's why I'm going to upload it. So, um, yeah, sorry for that. Hopefully we get into some more active and um, frequent uploads from now on. But, um, yeah. Thanks for jumping on by, and now let's jump into the video. I thought I'd do another, you know, top five metal albums of the month video, and July was a very good one. It was some great releases in July, so yeah, let's um jump into my top five. Obviously, no order, and I don't rank explicitly or in detail any of these albums. Not like my top twenty albums of the year list, which is going to be very crazy this year because we've already had a great bunch of releases. And we still have nearly almost half the year left to go. So I should probably start on that one a bit earlier this year because there's going to be a lot of albums to rank. So with this, I just kind of, you know, highlight um, five albums a month I really liked. And it's, you know, some of them people not heard before and it's good to get them out, you know, help shout them out, get their name out there a little bit more, check out some cool albums that you wouldn't have found otherwise. So, um, yeah, let's jump in. So, no particular order. First one is... Excessive Outburst of Depravity by Protector. Now these guys are originally a German band. They are thrash, death, metal. Now this was released, I think it was the first of the month? Yes, July 1st on High Roller Records. Now, this is a really, really cool album. It's just from, from, from start to end, really kind of smashes smashes you from with that thrash death, that classic intensity. A really fun album. Um eleven songs, forty eight minutes. You know, just some really some really solid stuff from Protector. One of their I'd like to say one of the better or best albums. It's um some really good stuff. Very kind of nineties death thrash metal kind of vibes. Good production. The production also helped push that kind of old school feel. Very cool. Um, favorite track? Probably Morse Mania, which is the final track. Actually, just a really, really cool. Some really cool riffs in there. Some, some just really fine guitar work. Overall, great album. Um, so yeah, if you have not checked that one out, highly, highly recommend doing that. Okay. Second on the list, we have For the Fallen by Vice. Now, these are these guys are an unsigned and independent band from the uh, United Kingdom. Um, and this was released on the 2nd of July, I believe. Yes, it's an independent band. Really cool kind of melodic death metal, metalcore kind of combination. Um, I really just like it. It also has some classic, almost like heavy metal... I think it's just there. It's a, it's a good album. It's nice and straightforward. It has some classic stuff, some catchy, catchy stuff, some cool, you know, different elements from a lot of death metal, heavy metal, metal core, um, even a little bit of thrash somewhere in there. But just they combine a lot of the elements quite well. Um, and trying to choose a favorite track, probably Failure would be probably my favourite track. There's you know, there's quite a lot of cool songs on this. Um, I have not seen this album really talked about anywhere. Cool cover, cool straight to the point album. Again, um, really love to kind of point out these unsigned independent bands because they don't really get much love, but this is a really fun album. I had a lot of fun enjoying it. Like I enjoyed listening to this album over and over, so definitely check that one out. If you want some fun, melodic death metalcore kind of, you know, combination metal, good on you boys. And um, just to let you know, I will put also in the description below all the links to, hopefully if they have both Bandcamp and Spotify to all the albums so that you can check them out, stream and buy 
and support the bands if you want to. So that will be in the description below for all five albums. So moving on to the next one. Now this spot was very tricky. Um, I was um and ahhing about a few different bands, a few different albums that I was going to include. Um, but this one won out because I just think it's a cool album. And it is Dawn of a Killer by Bleeding Display. Now these guys are a death metal band from Portugal actually. And this was released on Miasma Records um, on July 22nd. Um, really cool, hard hitting album. It's. I get like some. There's a lot of different influences on this album, um, but it's. It's. I don't know, it's just like. It's an album that kind of really like grips you in. It's very hard hitting. It's very. Production wise, very, very good too. I really like production on this album. Um, great death metal vocals, kind of, you know, rocking that combination between modern death metal and old school death metal. Um, really, just a solid album that I wanted to highlight this month. Favourite track on the record, probably Green River Killer. Solid, solid song. And, um, yeah, overall, cool album. And uh, moving on to number four, we have Hatchet from United States. These guys are a thrash metal, thrash death metal band. Um, and something interesting also that you might not know is that they actually have uh, two of the um, sons uh, from, um, sorry my brain, um, What's his name? Zetro from Exodus. Um, Nick and Cody Zuza, which are the Zetro's sons. They are both in this band, and um, Nick does the drums and Cody does the vocals. So, you know, if you like Exodus, if you like Zetro's vocals, you'll definitely want to jump on this band because he sounds just like his father. Um, I actually discovered this band from their 2019 album, I think. Or was it? The 2014 one, let me just check. No, it was the 2019 album I found these guys through. And um, this new album, The Veil of Shadows, is a really, really, really well, nice, condensed kind of progression from the band. Um, really, really enjoyable. Um, again, they're more death metal, thrash, thrash death, but they also include... A lot of melodic death metal elements in this album too. I could almost class it as a melodic death slash thrash album. Because they take a lot of inspiration from melodic death metal. A lot of more melody in this album. Um, but a lot of still intensity. And a lot of ups and downs and hills and valleys in this album that I really, really enjoyed. Um, as I said, Cody um, on the vocals. Really, really, really some cool stuff, some very high-pitched classic Zetro stuff, and then some more also melodic death and death metal growls coming at you. Um, very versatile on the vocals. Really, really cool. Favourite song? Probably the 25th Hour, or Only Red Remains. Clemency Denied, a great song too. Yeah, just a really great song overall um, from start to finish. Definitely check that one out if you have not yet already. If you like Exodus, you will like this album. If you like a lot of Death, Thrash, you will like this album. Um, yeah, go check it out. Hey, cheers. The Veil of Shadows. Alright, finishing up the list for July, we have Shroud of Serpents by Prosper or Perish. Now, these guys are a melodic death metal band from the United States. And I also think these guys are independent and unsigned as well. Um, this was released just at the end of the month on the 29th. And... Honestly, it's just a really, really, really well put together album. Um, songwriting is very, very catchy, very, very well done. Um, everything flows from start to finish quite well. Um, yeah, I never heard of this band before apart until I discovered this album, but really, really fun album. I really enjoyed it. Favourite song? Mm, nothing Above, Nothing Below, or Death Bears a Familiar Face. Yeah, 10 songs, 41 minutes. 41 minutes of just really, really great melodic death metal. Um, yeah. Mm, just a good, a good album overall. 
definitely check that one out if you love your melodic death metal. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of kind of melodic death this month, hey. But hey, a good month. I said a good month. Um, there's also some really cool other albums that came out. Um, if you want, send a uh, send me a message or a comment down below, and I can give you a couple more other recommendations. But these five definitely you can't go too wrong with them. Um, again, so you know. Hopefully, um, there's some albums that you definitely did not know came out this month that you haven't heard of or you have not discovered yet. Um, definitely go give those guys some support, some streams, even buy them if you really like the sound of the preview tracks or whatever. Um, all links will be down below in the description so you can support those guys and give them some love. And um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.